Okay, we're disassembling the the uh, Marlin Get the cocking arm off. And screw up on top here. Bolt out, take the rear stock off. Take these two little screws out. You gotta take this little screw out down here, the uh, magazine tube. So you can lift this up a little bit, slide this little end piece off. Once that's off, stock comes off. Slides off. The front stock's off. You got the magazine tube, the bolt, and the cocking arm. You gotta take the uh, hammer spring out. Least tension on the hammer spring. Lift this up and it all comes up, comes out. That's the retains the hammer spring. Take the one side screw out there. screw here. This end it has the longer of the two and then there's a little short one over on the side. And this one here comes out. Actually holds I'll show you what it holds. It holds this piece on. Also releases the hammer from the receiver. Okay. This little piece here slides out, and then you have a an ammo follower. Oops, 
screwdriver if it's perfect, but I'm marking any screws up. The screw comes out and releases the follower. There's a follower right here, and this fit into that right there. The screw went in like that. Okay, now it's disassembled, except for that. Uh, the safety's still in. Take the safety out. There's a little set screw in the end. Take it out to screw the ball, and then the safety pushes out. I've already stoned that, so there's a... Cleaned it up, got a little lube on it. There's no reason to really take it out for what I'm doing. I got this little screw here and, and this little round follower comes out. And that's it. That's the uh, Marlin 4570 disassembled. Only thing I didn't take apart, the bolt's not off. You can flip this extractor, it just pushes around that, flip that out. If you want to take the um, Two piece firing pin out, there's a roll pin there you drive out. Take the forward firing pin out, there's a roll pin under there you drive out. Take the trigger out, this little, there's a push pin right there. It's a two piece, there's a trigger blade, and then there's a separate little sear right there. You can take those parts out and uh, stone them or whatever you need to do to them. Actually, I gotta work those again, so I'll go ahead and push that pin out and show you what they look like. Two little pieces like that. And uh, that's it. That's the Marlin.